it's fine and enough now go to the perspective view you have this closed curve for making a wing of the butterfly now this is the time we need to cut the curve but first we need to hide the plane which have the reference because this time reference will disturb us use camera menus go to the show menu and hide polygons and now you have only curve in the scene right click and select the curve again create two curve for cutting this curve in four pieces click in this way hit enter once again get the curve tool and click in this way hit enter now select all of the curves here and then go to the edit curve menu and click cut curve you have cut the curve in four pieces delete extra curves and check your four pieces because you need to apply boundary tool to this these curves but first you need to count the spans of the curve using the attributed data we can see the spans are 9 for this curve and spans are 12 for the opposite curve and 10 for the top curve and 3 for the bottom curve uh, 13 for the bottom curve that's not good we need equal spans in each curve when we are going to use boundary tool select all of the curves by drag selection and rebuild them and give them similar value equal value for each curve so this time but first we should decide that what should be the value once again close the options and which curve is lengthy check the spawns of that curve 12 13 9 10 13 is the highest figure so we shall give the value of 13 for rebuilding all of the curves rebuild curve options and then put the value of perhaps 13 definitely 13 hit apply and close now you may check the control vertices in each curve and they will and they won't break the topology of our curves go to the perspective view and this is the time to apply the boundary tool go to the surfaces and hit boundary and you have created a boundary 